So we'll talk about the new Snapdragon X2 Elite platform I have with me, Kedar from Qualcomm. Kedar, uh, first of all, how are you doing? Doing fantastic. How are you doing? Brilliantly well. Uh, we'll talk about AI, a lot of other stuff about, around these chipsets. But first of all, I want to touch upon gaming because that was one very important part of your keynote today. So how are th uh, things shaping up on that end for Qualcomm? Look, we're, uh, obviously gaming is a category that I think excites almost everybody. Yeah. Everybody wants to play games. And for Qualcomm, we've been, uh, you know, in this industry for a long time. Uh, with phones, as you know, the whole industry uh, has been uh, very prominent with respect to gaming. So we've had gaming partnerships. We've had uh, partnerships with, like, all the engine guys and everybody. So I think it was very good for us to be able to take all of the work that we've done in phones and then bring it to PCs. As you know, we announced a, a huge upgrade in our graphics capabilities going from the first generation of the X Elite all the way to the second generation. We announced more than 2x graphics performance. In addition to that, I think we're maniacally focused on getting a lot of the AAA titles optimized. Uh, one of the things that was lingering on was support for easy anti-cheat. And I think you heard with the Epic's announcement of uh, support for easy yeah. anti-cheat, that was huge progress for us. Uh, beyond that, I think, uh, you know, we're pretty excited. Fortnite is coming uh, to Snapdragon. We have a bunch of games. I talked about Alien Rogue Inversion today uh, from Servios and stuff. So overall, I think the progress we're making on gaming is just awesome. So we're excited about what consumers can do with these devices. Now, you spoke about the performance gains and the GPU gains. Of course, there's now an 80 tops NPU on this uh, on this chip. And what we're looking at is a lot of raw performance, right? So what I wanted to understand is the first edition of Snapdragon X platform which came out and some of the laptops that had come out with it in the market were uh, among the most battery efficient laptops, right? So what do we expect from this uh, generation of chip? I think with uh, the first generation, we focused on three big things, right? We focused on performance, we focused on battery life, and we focused on AI. Yeah. I think you heard uh, earlier today when we launched the X2 Elite and the X2 Elite Extreme, uh, we've again raised the bar with respect to uh, performance as well as battery life. I mean, depending on which uh, SKU you look at, we talked about the uh, third gen uh, Orion CPU, talking gains as uh, high as 30 to 50% and talking about uh, performance per watt and uh, impacts of close to about 60%. So that's huge when you think of generation to generation. I don't think we've, uh, uh, this is pretty much unprecedented. So I think overall you see us uh, stay focused on that. So we'll focus on the same performance metric, we'll focus on battery life, and obviously we uh, up the NPU dramatically going from 45 tops to 80 tops because we see the market moving towards uh, agentic and we see the need for more tops. Uh, one interesting thing is that when you announced the previous generation uh, chip, you also uh, announced laptops with it. But in this case, you have said that this, uh, the first set of laptops will be available next spring. So why is there a difference in the rollout? No, I think it was very similar. We okay. announced Snapdragon X Elite in uh, 23, yeah. and you had devices come out in 24. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, for an OEM perspective, it just depends. Uh, some OEMs choose to. You heard uh, Asus talk about uh, their platform yeah. today. Uh, it just depends on every OEM strategy. It just depends on when uh, they are comfortable launching and talking about the next-gen platform. And should we expect them at the same time in India as well? I hope so. <laughs> I'm encouraging OEMs to make sure that they uh, show up in India at the same time. Now, you obviously launched your first chips less than two years ago, and some of your rivals have been in this game for too long now. It's not been that long for you. So where do you rank yourselves against, uh, let's say, an AMD and Intel? Uh, it depends how you look at the ranking. It's been 15 months. Yeah. Uh, as I said earlier in my keynote, we've launched 22 devices on the same day, which is unprecedented in the, win in the history of Windows. Um, we showed you uh, performance and battery life numbers. You already have first-gen devices in the market. We've seen devices from HP, for example, the Omnibook 5. It supports close to 34 hours of battery life. That's huge. That's literally, again, unprecedented in what this industry has seen. Um, when you look at uh, next-gen stuff, if you look at the gains we talked about, we also showed a lot of uh, comparisons to competition. They're significant, right? So I think you'll continue to see us leapfrog uh, in the industry and we've raised the bar again with X2. All right. Thank you so much, Keda, for your time. Thank you Thank so you. much.